Hey everybody, welcome back. As we were standing here, Sebastian just disappeared. Sebastian As one does. In between videos. <laughs> he went off to uh, plot some evil plot, I'm sure. No doubt. So. Probably all the pirates that were all on right. that pirate ship when that crashed into the castle. He's probably plotting with those pirates. <laughs> We don't know him. Or maybe he. That's true. I mean, maybe he's the reason that we all those other masters have just disappeared. You need to you need to start digging in a little bit more, find out what the circumstances were. I bet you it's not just that they couldn't cut it. It's probably that they all were suddenly like getting sick for mysterious reasons. Because he's poisoning them. Probably. We need to make sure that we we, we steer clear of him. Indeed. Well, and he's the one that's cooking the food. So, it all lines up. I mean, he's poisoning the masters because he's cooking all the food. Uh, we better, we better be sustained off the floor as much as we have because we know they're safe. It's Thomas <laughs> gonna make it. <laughs> uh, this would be an embarrassing like start. He's got fire. Who's fire Well, I don't know about you, but I like to keep that in mind always on me. Bag. Um, you never know when you need a fire kick. Share it, actually. Let's see if she's comes at it. So I guess. Oh, good. We survived. We survived it to attack from the bee. I'm surprised he made it all the way to the castle. <laughs> yeah. How did he get there? <laughs> I mean, if like a if a bee sting is gonna kill him that easily, like mind you, no allergic reaction. This is just like a bee sting, just a just a bee sting, almost killed him. Just saying. Yeah. Oh no, there's three of them. <laughs> there's three bees. We should have done a united attack against the bees. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I think Thomas is. Yep, there he goes. Oh no, and she's berserk. She, she's so upset by the loss of Thomas. Told you, there's stuff between them. I like how he just looks on the ground. He's like, ugh. So, she's taking one damage. Thomas is taking seven. Clearly, her armor is superior to his orange jacket. Yeah. I mean, she doesn't need pants, clearly, to protect him. She just no. needs a skirt. Oh, she didn't even level from three Bs? Really? Um, I hate to use a whole bunch, but this is ridiculous. You just gotta get to grip to Brass Castle and back. Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, I've been playing way too much Final Fantasy XII. I'm sitting here trying to hit the map button, and there Wait, is, is this no map button. Is this the new Final Fantasy XII that was just released? Like the new HD re-release or the original version? Okay, hold on. Wasn't there a map in the corner before? Like, where'd my map go? I think you hit select to get it, don't you? I, I did. Yeah, Maybe there I is... Hit start? There is a map. There it is. Sorry, I had to hit start. Yes, I'm talking about the remake of Final Fantasy XII. I've actually been playing it a lot longer. It's like the... what's the subtitle now? The Zodiac Cage or something? Uh, the, yeah, the Zodiac Cage. But the funny thing is, so, I did play the original Final Fantasy XII, now I didn't beat it. Don't ask, this is a long story. Um, and... So I, I didn't remember much from it, to be honest. And so we started playing, and we got Paul Peter, and I was like, Paul Peter starts talking, and I'm like, oh my god, I know the voice actor. But I couldn't place it at the time. Wait, there's voice acting? Out, I forgot about that. Yeah, but guess who does the voice acting for Paul Peter? Uh, it's the same guy who did Fenris from Dragon Age 2. And I was like, oh my god, I love Fenris. And I was like, oh my god. And so I was like so excited. So I was like, we have to have Balthier at our party at all times. Because, I mean, he's a hot guy. He's got to be in the party. Unfortunately, when Helper gets the controller, he changes the party around to be like a useful party. So I tricked him. I ended up making Balthier the healer. So he has no choice but to keep Balthier in the party. He's the highest level guy we have in the party. My evil plot has succeeded. Uh, let's see here. He was voiced by Gideon Emery. Who did Fenris? 
Uh, I was pulling that up right now to see if that was the case or not, or if he just was somebody who sounded similar. No, it is the same guy. I'm pulling it up right now. I mean, you got okay. we got to check these things. You never, you never know. I mean, there's a lot of people that sound very similar. Bars. This is actually not the first time that he has done the voice for Balthier. <laughs> he probably did it for both games. He also did it. For, oh, there, 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 that could be the case. I didn't think about that. Uh, yes, he did. In fact, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> I was about to say that he did it in. Uh, the Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions re-release. Because Baltier, 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 he shows up in that one too, as like a cameo appearance. Yeah. Which I completely forgot about because I never actually played that game very far. Actually, I've never played that game at all, despite owning it for like seven years. But before anyone complains, Final Fantasy Tactics, the original PS release, is my second favorite game of all time. So I have played that one thoroughly. So don't tell me I need to play Tactics, I've played it. I just haven't played the re-release. Wow! What an incredible castle! It sure is. I thought Vinny Del Zexe was big, but this is incredible! It's totally different from our castle! This one looks- are you looking at? Goodness gracious. Yeah. This one looks like a real castle should. Aww. Yeah, that's kinda mean. I think our castle's wonderful, too. We're all working hard to protect it, you know. Don't say that to your girlfriend, Thomas. That's not very nice. Oh, uh, right. Say, do you know where I'm supposed to take this letter? Brass Castle. We'll figure it out. Let's go inside. Figure it out? Have you ever been here before? No, this is my first time, too. The last master never stayed long enough to merit my escort. <laughs> uh, oh, I see. <laughs> I think you were going in a direction that I probably should have gone to. <laughs> I, I did not think of that until you just mentioned it. You were ahead of me on that one. I have the pure and innocent mind here, thank you very much. Whoa! Oh, excuse me. I am in a rush, as I am about to head into battle. I apologize. Oh, uh, no. My, my apologies. Hey, she's mine. I don't think I've seen you before. New recruit? N no. You do, do not seem the type. I'm Cecile, commander of the Castle Guards of... Goodness gracious, Castle! Here we are to submit a letter with respect to the succession of a new Castle Master. Buddha... Hook? Never heard of it. Well, if you have a letter, I suppose you should hand it to Salome. Uh, yes. To Mr. Salome? I, I understand. Um, what is your name? My name? It's Leo. What? You mean Leo is in Leo of the Six Mighty Knights? Wow, this is incredible! Stay calm. Stay calm. Hey now. I'm right here. Now you're just embarrassing me. Well, I've got to rush off. Excuse me. Seeing Leo actually reminds me of Boris, which I'll talk about in a second. Is he famous? Yes, of course! There's no one in Zexan who doesn't know the Six Knights! Chris, Salome, Leo, Roland, Boris, with a U, and not an I. Thank you, personal. comments. Yes, I have to thank everybody for clarifying that, because the, like, the other Boris is much cooler than this Boris. Wow, that was incredible! I've only heard of his name before! I'm so glad I came! I see... This date's going all wrong. <laughs> She's not even looking at us anymore. Thomas, you'll win her back. Don't worry. We got several more chapters. So, uh... I'll go ahead. 
see what Roland has to say. Um, we'd like to see Sir Salome, please. He should be on the second floor, preparing for deployment. He may be too busy to see you. Deployment? Is there going to be a war? Yes, with Grassland. The treaty's been scrapped thanks to a surprise attack by the Lizard Clan. Lizard Clan? I see. Huh. I must roll along myself. Excuse me. Are you okay? Oh, right. It's me. I completely forgot. A war with Grassland, huh? The Little Clan never seen that terrible to me. They just look scary. I'm surprised they'd attack without warning. That's what surprise attacks are without warning. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the thing about surprises. No I was. For that. I was talking with my supervisor earlier, and I was like, let's go see if the software is uh, going to meet our expectations. But I expect it will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that is the nature of expectations, though. <laughs> oh, goodness. We have to figure out a way to recover the injured. Our last battle seems like yesterday. The council's getting more and more demanding. And suddenly she starts to walk very slowly. Swoon! <laughs> that woman, she's beautiful. And a knight even. It's incredible. She's Chris, right? What? You know her? Oh, oh no, no, no. I just saw her lead a parade once at Vinadel's Exay. She can charge into battle, defeat the enemy, and get out without any blood on her. All without even breaking a sweat. I adore her. This, this date just keeps getting worse. Yeah, this is a weird date. This is a weird date. Come to think of it, I think I've heard people call her the Silver Maiden? Sounds like quite the lady. Don't say that in front of Cecile. Goodness gracious. Everyone, what not to do on a date? <laughs> Talk about other people like that. Could you help me? I'm looking for a man named Salome. I am Salome. What do you need? My name is Thomas. I was recently appointed the new master of Budahook Castle. I have this, uh... I've heard about you. I imagine you have a letter for the knights, correct? How do you know about me? Twitter. <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> I review every appointment order the council makes. The letter, please. Sure, sure. It's right here. Thank you. Present the letter tonight. No, no, thank you. Is there any anything else I must do? That is all. Uh, who's your friend here? Our date. I'm Cecile, commander of the castle guards. Did you take up the position when the old commander passed away a few years ago? That man was my father. So, you're Commander Brown's daughter, eh? You can't just take his title. You have to be officially appointed. <gasps> no! Let's appoint her right now! I don't see why when my father appointed me on his deathbed. Come on, Thomas, do something! Stand up for your woman! Why can't I appoint her? I'm now recognized as the master of the castle. Don't I have that right? Let me think. 
Normally, you'd have to submit an application to the council and the knights. In extraordinary circumstances, the master of the castle may be allowed to make the appointment. Very well. I'll make all the arrangements on this end. Oh, that's a relief. I can keep my position then. You'll be, you will be the official commander of the guards at Boothook Castle. You will receive an appointment letter eventually. Eventually. You have to go pick it up, though. Bureaucracy is a bureaucracy. <laughs> Thank you! Yay, we did something for our lady. Well, everything seems to be in order. I must go now and deal with other matters. We gave her the same job she already had. <laughs> and she's happy for it. <laughs> Yay! Understood. We are grateful for your assistance. <laughs> what in the world? <sighs> Maybe she'll like us now. Everything seems okay. Shall we go back, Cecile? Sounds good to me. Let's go to get some cake. Go through the bee fields. Maybe there's a minchies in the castle. Get some this episode okay. sponsored by... <laughs> yeah, I'll put a big minchies logo in the middle. I'm sure that won't get flagged. <laughs> Maybe there's one in here. Let's check it out. Seeing as we can't eat at our own castle because we don't trust Sebastian, let's get some food here before we leave. <laughs> Stock up. <laughs> hey, let's get some pickles or something. Ah, oh, one extra ice cream? Is that right? Heck yeah. <laughs> Speaking of ice cream. <laughs> yeah. It's about time to repair super pickles. You haven't eaten recently, have you? The smell um, affects people. As long as it doesn't kill us, let's eat it. Here you go. Today's specials are beef and potatoes and adult stew. Did we have this discussion before? I... Oh, you aren't tonight, are you? Or an adult? Ouch. I wonder what age is considered an adult because I'm running a castle, but I can't eat stew. Uh, well, no. I think that it's made of adults, and so they were looking for more ingredients, and you're clearly not it. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't think any of these guys say anything new. Still talking about pickles and dead people. Have you? Did, did I ever tell you about the? Or maybe I talked about this before. The whole thing about trying to sell Gerber baby food in uh, regions with poor literacy literacy rates. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Well, if uh, if you haven't heard about it, folks, just go look it up. But suffice to say, the picture of a baby on the front of uh, the Gerber bottles. It was rather confusing in parts of the world where they uh, put pictures of the food that's in the jars on the cover of the bottles. <laughs> Let's just say that sales were not as high as they had hoped in some regions. <laughs> um, I don't think you can go shopping at any of these shops, actually, right now, Miss Thomas. Really? Hey, come on, our merchandise is over here. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought for some reason the shops were closed, because they were like... I don't know. Unfortunately, we don't have enough money to do anything. I was gonna say, I think the they may not be closed, but they are to you, effectively. Okay, we're 20 minutes in hate okay? Sorry, I'm so used to Final Fantasy XII now that the only people you can talk to have little bubbles over their heads, so for a second there I thought he wasn't gonna talk to me. Um, we're not grumpy, we're on a date with our lady. We try to leave the other way. I mean, I don't see why you couldn't. We're like so short all of a sudden. I keep forgetting how short we are until we come up against somebody else. You're not short. You're just growing. Young. Yeah. So I want to kind of get some levels in, actually. At least two or three would be nice with Thomas. Yeah. And that way we can pay for weapon upgrades as well. Because we are going to have to do more fighting as Thomas. Wow, we have a lot of save files at Brass Castle. Whoa, what really? Is... It let us? Oh, but oh. we can't go anywhere. Oh. I was kind of hoping you'd be able to get to, like, the Duck Village or something if you wanted to. 
Not that we oh, do, hello. but just saying. Okay, I was just saying, I, I didn't think that was a dog we could talk to, but... Okay, I'm not... There we go. I was trying to get out. I got stuck. Yeah, I might end the video a little early and just do some leveling between videos. That way, Thomas doesn't die from every beasting that he encounters. <laughs> yeah... I mean, there is some recruiting we can do if we want to, but... Eh. I don't know if we can recruit just yet. I think we can in his... I think we can in his first chapter if we have to get a little further, if I remember right. Yeah, I think so. But, uh, yeah. But in Chapter 1 for Thomas, there are some people that we have not yet recruited that we can, potentially. Yeah, because no. something, something is going to happen with Thomas and they're going to actually need to recruit, so, which we've kind of already heard about in Ghetto's chapter, but we're going to learn more about it in Thomas's chapter. You know, the funny thing is the first time I played Thomas's chapter, I was very confused and I didn't really know what was going on because I, I waited to play his chapter because I didn't realize that it was another character, and so I played it, like, way too late, and I was like, this is, I have no idea what's going on, I didn't know what it, I couldn't really recruit, and, um, I wish they had explained it a little better. Like, they're like, if you want to see what's going on at the castle, you need to go to that flame that just popped up, because it, it wasn't very clear to me to do that. Hmm. Because I remember when you played, I made a point of, uh, playing it as early as possible. Yeah. Thomas... Huh? What is it? Thomas, I owe you so much. I promise you won't be sorry. I'll defend the castle with my life. Trust me. Oh, uh, no problem. Don't worry about it. If you could just eat all my food, though, and make sure it's safe for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that I... Now that I've been appointed by you, I'm the real commander of the guards, right? I'll... I promise you'll have my best. Um, okay. Thanks. You're not going to do your best before? Shall we go now? Yes, sir. Oh, is our date over? I guess we have to get back to the castle before the date's over. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think there's a reason for us to go to the other the next day yet. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end it here a little early, and we're going to go do some leveling and possibly some weapon upgrades. So we'll see you guys next time when hopefully Thomas doesn't die from every beasting. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye guys.